Hey guys, today I have a new lip mask from Fresh. Now this is the Fresh Sugar Advanced Therapy Recovery Lip Mask. And I wanted to compare it to the classic Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask because I swear every time I see a new lip mask come out, people are always asking, how does it compare to the Laneige? That just seems to be the go-to. Everyone just wants to know, how does it compare? So the fresh one is more expensive than Laneige. It's 34 Canadian or 26 US dollars. Laneige is 26 Canadian or 22 US dollars. And with the fresh, you get 10 grams. And with Laneige, you get 20 grams. So you're paying more money and you're getting half the amount of product if you wanna go with the fresh one. The fresh just has the one flavor or scent. It's kind of, it's hard to pinpoint exactly what it smells like. Like, but it smells kind of like natural, kind of lemony, kind of beeswaxy. I don't think there's any beeswax in it, but just to give you an idea of what it smells like, it actually, if you've tried the Bite Agave lip mask, this one right here, it smells and tastes very, very similar to this one. And the Bite one works fine. It's, um, it's a fine lip mask. It's not one of my ultimate favorite ones, but it is a decent lip mask, just as a side note. Well, not as good as Laneige though. But yeah, those two, the bite one and the fresh one, smell very, very similar. And Laneige has lots of different flavors. Right now on Sephora, there are six to choose from, but they're always coming out with like limited edition ones and there is a variety. My favorite one is the grapefruit one. It smells delish. They both are in the little tub packaging. The fresh one is more compact, but that is because you're getting half the amount of product. They both come with a little spatula. My Laneige one is long gone, cannot find it, but here's a close up of the fresh one. Now, as far as consistency of the product, the fresh one is a bit more firmer, but once you apply it, it does kind of get softer and melts into your lips. The Laneige one is softer from the get-go, but you do have to kind of break in the fresh one. Key ingredients of each, fresh has shea butter, sugar, hyaluronic acid, and berry wax. And then Laneige has their trademarked berry mix complex and moisture wrap technology. So lots of moisture going on in both of them. I'm not gonna pretend that I know what ingredients do what, so. The fresh one is a clean at Sephora product. If that is important to you, the Laneige one is not. The idea of them both is they're supposed to moisturize and replenish your lips overnight and they both do that a million percent they're both super moisturizing i was actually pretty surprised trying the fresh one out like instantly as soon as i apply it even just like an hour or two after my lips were like healed and soft and so moisturized is great the Laneige one does that too. I just haven't been this impressed with a lip mask uh, in a while. Both of them are equally comfortable to wear, not sticky, not overly heavy. And the fresh one goes on pretty much clear. The Laneige one has, depending what flavor you get, a little bit of a tint, but really nothing crazy. Now with the fresh one, you can use less product and still get amazing results. Now that's not saying that I have to like glob on the Laneige one for it to do anything, but even with the teeniest, teeniest layer of the fresh one, my lips are like so soft. Fresh as a brand, I pretty much love everything they come out with, so I'm really not surprised. Laneige, this lip mask has been my number one for years. The fresh one might just be, as far as performance goes, like just a little half step above it, just because the tiniest bit goes the longest way. Honestly though, these are so similar. I'm just being picky as far as the comparison goes. They're so similar. If you wanna just keep on using the Laneige one that you know you love and not spend the extra money to get half the amount of product, just keep doing that. It's not that much better that I feel like you need to spend the extra money to try it out. Like they are so, so similar. But if you wanted to try out the fresh one, I don't think you'd be disappointed. I think you would fall in love with it because it might be my new favorite one. Just by the teeniest little, teeniest little bit. It's just a little bit better. Just a little bit better, but they're both amazing. That is a bold statement to say. The Laneige one is so good. At first, when in the first few times I was using it, I was like, no, they're pretty much the same. Like I don't see one as being better than the other, but with performance, I think the fresh one is just that little bit better, just a little bit more moisturizing and the results last a little bit longer with the teeniest amount of product. But yeah, if you wanna try something new, try out the fresh one, I think you really love it. Anyway, that's all I have. Let me know if you will be trying out the fresh one or if you think it's too much money for a lip mask. That is totally understandable. It's almost $40, so it's like, how good can it really be? I mean, it's really good. <laughs> 
Let me know what you think and I'll see you later. Bye.